Tia, by the way, just beat 30 other chefs from all over the world. At the Embassy Chef Challenge, she was the first woman to do that. She broke, she broke the internet. She had like 200,000 views on her Facebook Live. She's at 400, sorry, 400,000. Excuse me. Um, Chef Irie, you all know and love already. Adam and Tyler are the guys behind the camera. Um, as well as there's Brandon who didn't make it tonight. Allison, it's her house we use, it's her kitchen. So there's, there's a secret let out, and we did that right here in Miramar. <laughs> so thank you very much yes. to the city of Miramar. Luki Chong is my constant companion in terms of video production, um, all the work that we do in video. Uh, everything that you see has been a team effort. We ask you to continue to support what we're doing. We want to continue to take Caribbean culture and make it a global thing. Thank you all. Please buy some cookbooks. Do not leave without taking a swag bag with you. There's a free magazine in there. There's more cremas, there's pepper sauce, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to hand the mic back to Lisa. I think Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have this evening our co-sponsor of the event, the mayor himself, he's been doing amazing things here in the city of Miramar. I get to personally work with him a lot, and um, I must say he represents Jamaica to the fullest, as well as South Florida. So thank you for all that you're doing in South Florida for us. Ladies and gentlemen, your mayor of Miramar, Mayor, Wa mayor Wayne Nessa. Hello, everyone. Everyone enjoying yourselves? I'm Miramar Mayor Wayne Messam. We're just so happy to have everyone here. When you look at a city like Miramar, many of you may not realize that Miramar is now the 13th largest city in the state of Florida. We have almost 135,000 residents. Miramar has more Fortune 500 companies than any city in the Tri-County area. So, a lot is going on in Miramar. But what's most exciting about Miramar are our residents and our people. And we, when we can have an event like this event that brings the Caribbean community together, there are so many islands represented and so many nationalities represented in this room, it just shows the strength of our community. And when we unite and come together, especially in cultural forums like this, it makes our city and our community in South Florida a better place. So we're very excited about the PBS show that will be shown in the next coming and upcoming season. We're asking you all to view it, to support it. I'm very proud that the scenes and all the filming was done in a beautiful home right here in the city of Miramar that will be broadcast nationally. So we're very proud of that. We're proud of you and we thank you for making Miramar one of the best places, in my opinion, the number one place to live, work, visit, and play. So before I leave, I would like to invite everyone, this 4th of July at Miramar Regional Park, we will have our grand opening of the Miramar Amphitheater. And it is a phenomenal venue. Don't worry about the heat, because guess what? It's the only covered amphitheater in South Florida. So even if it rains, you're protected. So it's at four o'clock and it will be concluded with our annual fireworks show, which is perhaps one of the best fireworks show in South Florida. So we'll see you on 4th of July. Take care and enjoy the rest of the evening.